Modular multi-panel red light therapy setups like I have behind me here are a great cost-effective way to get a full body size uh, red light therapy setup. However, there is one downside and that is this blank space through the middle and across the center there. In this video, I'm going to find out how concerned you need to be about that. Is this going to impact how the light is delivered on the body? Do you need to move to the side ever so slightly? And is there another way we can uh, work around this potential issue? Hey guys, Alex here from alexfocus.com and yes, behind me I have the uh, Biomax 900 quad setup. I've got four of these here uh, hanging off my sauna. Um, I've reviewed this setup, I've talked about you know, why I like it and all that. But I've, I've shared a concern uh, and that is this, I don't know, one and a half, two inch gap through the middle here and uh, across the center. Uh, that's just part of, I guess, having a modular setup like this, right? There is a bit of a perimeter on these panels, join them all together, that, that distance obviously doubles. It means when you're using the light, well, at least when I'm using the light, I've always been worried, hey, is there a chunk of light or a chunk of my body that's not getting this, this therapeutic light? And I've talked about that in videos and I've actually had a lot of comments and questions from people sharing that concern and asking me, hey, like, is it an issue? Um, can you test it? So I thought, you know what? Let's, uh, let's put this to bed and we'll, we'll find out. So in this video, I'm gonna use my spectrometer, which is just out of reach at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got a whiteboard here uh, and we're gonna do some testing. Hopefully, visually, you'll be able to see what's going on. But of course, uh, it's not just about how it looks. It's about the numbers that the uh, spectrometer is picking up. And I'm gonna find out once and for all if this is an issue and um, if it is, what we could potentially do about it. Now, I should also mention that this isn't a problem unique to Platinum LED, the Biomax range that I have here. It's not a go at their panels or anything like that. Pretty much all of the red light therapy panels uh, have this issue if you're using them in a modular fashion. So you can look at the Juve panels, uh, the Juve Elite, I think they're called, or you know their big six or four panel setup. Um, the Mito Pro 1500, has the same sort of border around it. So if you get a bunch of them, you're gonna have the same issue. Uh, pr pretty much any multi-panel setup out there. I don't know of any panels that have the LEDs going right to the edge. Um, so it's just that I have four Biomax panels here. So this is what I'm testing. That's all I can test. And one other thing real quick, I know you can get the big wall panels, uh, all-in-one wall panels and um, Obviously, that won't have the same sort of issue here, but if you actually look at them, those LEDs are still uh, arranged in clusters, and there is a bit of a, a gap in them. I mean, it's going to be better, no doubt, but um, there are some downsides to that as well, and, and one big one is cost and shipping and logistics and setup and all that jazz. Anyway, enough chat. Let's um, fire these up. What we'll do first is look at the whiteboard. I don't know how effective this is going to be on camera, but hopefully it, it reveals a little bit then um, we'll get the spectrometer going. Okay, first things first. So I've got this whiteboard here. What I'm actually gonna do is um, sort of angle it like so. So obviously down the bottom where it's, it's close to the panel, uh, you'll see the effect of the light, you know, for an inch or two. And then up top when it's angled out, uh, how far are we gonna go? This is a 12 inch ruler. So maybe we'll, we'll angle it at out 12 inches like so. We'll be able to see the effect of 12 inches using the um, whiteboard. Now, uh, remember this is just showing the red light. It doesn't show the near infrared light, but it will it'll give us some interesting ideas. So um, I also know that sometimes I've done this and what you see on the camera isn't what I see with my eyes. So it may not be the best test, but we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. Okay, so I hope you can see this. Uh, so the top here, the very top across here is just over 12 inches from the panel. Uh, when I come down to here, we are six, seven inches where you can see, or at least I can see that um, blank spot. I mean, it's quite clear to see that cross. And you'll notice that as we get closer to the panel down the bottom here, um, the LEDs are more, know, what's the word? The contrast is more evident. You know, I call it that polka dot effect. You can see this panel has multi-wave uh, panels, uh, LEDs. So you've got all sorts of red light in here and there for red light. So you can see the difference here with some of those more of the orange and, and the redder colors down the bottom. As you get up higher here, it blends. See how it's, 
it's all blended in a lot better. You can still faintly see some of those yellower orange spots. But the main thing we're looking at here is this, this cross going through uh, the center of the board. Now remember, 12 inches at the top, um, where you're seeing that line there, um, this is a bit tricky to do, where you're seeing this line through here, that's at six inches, and we're, we're at two or three inches at the bottom. So looking at that, you're gonna think, hey, well, if I'm standing center on, center on to this, now looking at that, if you think, well, if I'm standing center on to this panel, yeah, that, that cross is gonna be on me, right? Now, um, does that mean you're getting a big drop off in irradiance through that, through that blank cross that we're seeing here? Well, now I'm gonna use my um, spectrometer to find out. Now, it's always a bit difficult testing this. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across here, all right? So I'll just call out the readings. I'll start off, off the edge um, and I'll let you know when I've got to that middle bit again, but it, it should be reasonably evident based on the numbers. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much of a drop off there is. So when I'm off the edge here, yeah, the, the reading is, is, is zero. I'm probably about five inches off the panel. Um, so now we're, we're on the edge of this panel here, uh, but not over the lights, but we're already, already getting a figure of 15 milliwatts. Remember, higher is the better. I'm gonna read these out. We're up 60 now as I come over the light. 65, 68, 75, 70s, 77. Getting some good readings here, 70s. So we're all up in the 70s. All right, so I'm coming into that blank spot now. Okay, I saw an 80 there. Coming into that blank spot now, we're into 50, 48, 39, 28. So pretty much now I am smack bang in the, in the middle of the panels and I've got a figure of about 15. So 15 versus your 70s and 80s out here. It is a lot less. Uh, and then it's starting to come up again as I keep moving across, 76, 38, 50s, 60s, 70s and above. And then I'll come to the edge again. Yeah, 25. Okay, so it does drop down. Now what I'm gonna do is come down to the center of this cross here. I'm gonna try to come right in the middle. Remember this is six inches. And yeah, we're only at seven, eight milliwatts over centimeter squared at six inches. So right in the middle there. Um, so there is a bit of a blank spot there. And now I'm gonna go up and down. So same thing, 60s, 70s. 64, 70. Okay, we're coming down, 70. All right, 62, 53, 46, 41. Now I'm right in line, 17, 16, 18, 15. And now it starts picking up again, 50s, 22s. What does this mean? Well, that um, cross we saw on the, uh, on the whiteboard, that is fairly accurate as to what's going on. So. This does mean if you're standing in front of this panel and you're being relatively still and you want to treat you know, the center line or wherever, wherever it is, you need to be aware of this. You need to know that you're not gonna get the same level of light um, right through the middle. So it also depends on height, right? So you've got that middle point down here, uh, you know, the, 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 the big gap, four or five inches, through here uh, where there's no LEDs. Um, if that's lined up in the, with an area that you want to treat, so for instance, maybe it's your, your, your private parts, you know, that's the part you want to hit, you need to be aware of that, right? Like if you're standing right center and that's, that's, that's where it's shining, or not shining in this case, you're gonna to have to adjust for that. So whether you were to lift the panels up higher, uh, drop them lower if you could, or of course the simple thing is, is just to step a little bit to the side. Now this is something that I have actually been doing Prior to even testing this, I've just had the concern that, yeah, those numbers are a little bit lower. So for instance, if I wanted to treat my lower back when I'm standing like so, I actually shift ever so slightly, you know, an inch or two off center. So it means that my, my, my spine is not in line with that weak point. Remember at six inches, you were still getting 15, 16 um, centimeter squared, milliwatts over centimeter squared of light. You're still getting a you know, a reasonable amount, it's not a huge amount, but you still are getting something. And then only an inch or two either side of that, you're getting heaps, right? So it's not like you're not getting treatment, it's just that there's a lot more light uh, on the on each side. The modular multi-panel setups aren't the perfect, you know, be all, end all sort of setup. But like I said earlier, if you were to get one large panel, uh, an all-in-one, firstly, they're very expensive. 
Secondly, you've got the issues with shipping and, and setting it up and whatnot. But thirdly, even those have kind of like the LEDs in, in different clusters. So you might have some sort of, you know, weak spots around certain areas anyway. So what are the takeaways from all this? What are the, the, the if you've got a setup like this or you're thinking of getting a setup like this, what should you do? Well, here's what I would do. Pretty much, I think a setup like this is, is, is a great way to a great goal to strive for. I mean, you can buy one, maybe two panels, six months later, get another one, you come into some money, you get a third one, you know, you chip away at it, and then boom, you've got this epic setup. Um, and you can still use, you get the benefits of, of one panel from, from the get-go, right? So that's cool. Um, and plus, with the platinum LED panels, you can link them all, and it's just Wi-Fi control um, connectivity, one button to control them all, which works really good. Now. If you are going to have this set up though, I think it's important to, to remember, look, as in the middle there and across the center, you're not going to get as much energy. So all you need to do is remember that and just slightly stand off center. So this pole behind me, let's say that was the, the center, I would just shift ever so slightly to the side. Maybe you do a few minutes on that side and then a few minutes on that side. Um, really, that's, that's all you need to do. Uh, the height is a bit tricky to, trickier to, to account for because that is obviously fixed. You could sort of crouch a little bit or, or come up on your tippy toes, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that is a bit of a bummer. Um, but otherwise, hey, it's not like end of the world, right? But if you are treating a particular area, remember like spine or your genitals or, you know, even your face, the midline in your face, you got a sore nose or something like that, then you are going to have to step ever so slightly to the side. It's, it's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? You don't really need me to explain this. It was more figuring out what was going on with the light, and I've done that now. Um, hey, and look, now that I've tested that, I'll, I'll be a little bit more particular with, with moving around. Another thing you do, like I said just then, is you just you just move around. Just, just you know, dance on your feet a little bit. Stand one spot, shuffle to the side, twist, turn, you know, do all that cool stuff. Now, I know there has been someone asking me, oh, what about, like, angling them into each other? And yeah, that would probably work really good. Well, I'm not too sure actually. Uh, the thing is though, for me right now, it's, it's kind of tricky to test that because I've got all these bolted in and stuff, right? And even if I unbolted them, I could pivot them around. I just wouldn't like that because um, they, they're not stable, they're not locked in. And I don't know of any mounts that you could, you know, brackets that you could use to, I'm sure if you go to a hardware store, you could figure something out. But yeah, if you were to angle them in ever so slightly, that may, um, what that would probably do is account for that weak spot through the middle, but what it may end up doing is having like some really high spots, you know, where the light's crossing over and you're getting, say, instead of 70 milliwatts, you're getting 90 or 100, and then to the side, you're getting 40. You know, I think it's gonna be much better if you have an even blend. Saying that, I did see in my most recent, uh, I think the September Red Light Therapy News video, I did mention a, a curved panel. I think it's by Rube Care. Um, check out the, the Red Light Therapy News video. And that is a curved panel, a big wall panel like this. So that could be a, a good way to minimize all these issues. But I think that was like 10, 15 grand, so. Anyway, hey look, if you do wanna get some panels like this, be sure to use discount code Alex. If you've got any other questions about this setup or you know how I test it or whatnot, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll do my best to um, answer them. Check out all my other videos. I've got tons of reviews, comparisons, and little tidbit videos like this. If you've enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and uh, I'll see you soon, bye.